This is the brand new Venus camera from Hollylands. This is a Cinedy Gear News video supported by B&H and CVP. Hey everybody, Graham Mailer Sheldon here from Cinedy.com. I'm at NEB 2023 and I'm here on the show floor with Randall from Hollyland. Randall, how's it going? Good, man. Thanks for having me. I appreciate you. Appreciate you too. That was such a nice thing to say. This is already a very welcoming booth. Um, I'm holding cameras here made by Hollyland. What's going on? What are these products? So we try to get, we're going to get cameras for our ecosystems, right? And right now these are going to be for our live streaming aspect of it. So the great thing of it is you can live stream straight from these cameras. This one's got a screen on it. It's going to be the bigger version. It's going to be the Venus line, right? So a really cool line that we're coming out with. Still kind of working on the name, but uh, it's going to come out in a few months. Hopefully, uh, we were told July-ish, but we all know how the lines go. So maybe July, August, hopefully, right? Uh, but, you know, keep an eye on it. But we got the MPF batteries here. We got all your outputs with the USB-C out. So you can just go straight to camera if you want to, or straight to computer if you want to for live streaming as well. Of course, your HDMI out. You do have an SDI card, so you can record on this thing as well. Uh, and of course, the DC if you need to as well. The three times zoom, the, the lens is uh, fixed, so you're good to go there. And then of course, the touch screen. So you can you know go through here and hit all your live. You got the pull down to get to your menus and everything. Uh, you got your scenes, uh, you know, pro versions of what you can do for coloring and uh, aperture and everything that effect. A lot of good stuff. So I'm, I'm really excited about it. Uh, yeah, and this one would do the same situations, but you kind of hook it up to uh, either a computer or something of that nature to make those uh, uh, changes. Got it. So, I mean, just at a high level, who do you see as like the primary users for this? Is this someone who doesn't have a mirrorless, doesn't have a DSLR, or is this like multi-cam event thing where you need 15 of these for some reason to switch between? I mean, well, who are you seeing uh, in terms of the users for this? I think a lot of this too is, you know, more set up for the specific like live streamer, whether that's Instagram or the Facebook, right? You have, you can put the streaming key straight in here uh, by clicking the uh, situation here. You can either sign into your YouTube or your Facebook, or you can just put the streaming URL in the situation as well. So on these, I think that's the, the reason we're aiming for is to get those live streamers. You could still make those big setups and run your HDMI's out into our video transmitters that we offer as well. Uh, so it's, it's, it is kind of all multi-purpose, but the um, aim is the live streaming and the availability that way to either have, you know, if you want just the kind of similar wide lens in the corner for that, you know, static shot and you got your other cameras that you run around with that might be smaller or whatever, it's, you know, to fit every system that you need for it. Okay, I mean, so in terms of uh, price point availability, I'm also like, look, I'm a you know Union DP uh, color. I mean, what do we? What other stuff do we have in here? You have various color science. I bet you don't have log. That's I mean, just guessing. No, yeah, exactly. It's just a few different. Uh, uh, it's not overly crazy on the modifications that you can run on this, right? But there is some uh, color adjustments, and you know you can adjust all your shutter and aperture and everything to that effect too, right? Uh, price point. Uh, modestly priced like everything else is. We haven't quite gotten that far yet either. Uh, time out, again, hopefully we were told three to four months. I'm gonna give it four to five just to be on the safe side. So keep an eye on it. We always release stuff whether it's coming out too and letting people know about it as well, so. Got it, and you mentioned earlier fixed uh, lens. Are these yeah. the same type of fixed lens on both models? Correct, yes, yep, same lens. And then it's just a three times zoom on them both as well at that point. This Got it. Yeah. This is just more run from the computer, like you'd have to run it through the Wi-Fi hotspot to be able to control everything versus this has the screen, if that makes sense. So this is kind of be the big brother, little brother, little sister, whatever you want to call it. Can you add a battery plate to the back of this? Or do you have Sony batteries on the back there now? What is it's, it's just on the, uh, what I'll call the pro version, on the, on the bigger version, it has the battery. This one is strictly DC, so it's kind of the, the smaller version in that sense. Like, again, the statics possibly, you know, to that nature. Yeah. Got it, yeah, so maybe more static for this, more run and gun for that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would use them for. Or again, you can leave this as static too if you like the screen aspect of it, depending on budget and what you want to get into. Yeah, very cool. Uh, anything else we need to know? So you can send to, you. I saw Facebook Live in there, YouTube, YouTube a lot. Any other destinations? I mean, hopefully we get to the other ones at this point too. And again, still kind of in a little bit of the demo beta stages, but uh, Instagram's next on my list to talk to them about. And of course your TikToks or Snapchats if I can. So I'm trying to get on all that stuff as well. But right now, yeah, so, so on this demo version that we got as the beta, we're on Facebook and YouTube at this point. But we got a team of 250 plus R&D people, engineers uh, helping on the side in Shenzhen. So we get stuff done pretty quickly. Very cool. I mean, look, I have more of a philosophy question. Hollyland is a brand. I know you guys, I mean, you have great uh, headsets, uh, trans, you know, wireless transmission. Yeah. Also, maybe, a, I mean, not maybe, here's a camera. So you're a camera manufacturer now. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me just holistically, is Hollyland a, a brand for all things cinema now? Or you still feel like you have a segment? 
that's need more niche? Uh, I think the idea of it, though, is to the, the kind of market and the price points that we are, are, to, are at, too. It is a, affordable. It's robust. It works well. Uh, but we're also, you know, some of the variables that you might get with the bigger pro lines that cost a lot more uh, might not necessarily be on there. But some of us don't have that budget, right? And so, but we are making things to get in those little productions. We basically want to have two separate lines of ecosystems, one for live streaming, one for production or studios, right? And then, of course, we want the two separate sizes of markets, whether it's the consumer brand that wants to kind of get into it just have a robust accountability right or you want a few more options and you, you know you pay a little more for the production side of it that can fit into those situations as well got it also i'd love to know just your take on um these cameras versus that camera that exists in all of our pockets called the mobile phone <laughs> i mean let's talk about that for a second what are we yeah. getting here obviously we have you know hdmi out we have mic in a lot of stuff you don't have on a mobile phone but where does this sit in your mind versus our classic cell phone yeah, I think the big thing is, too, is it's got the uh, integration for the mics that we have that are just the USB-Cs in if you want to do that. And you just got the lavalier quickly, right? It's more kind of convenience, necessarily. Otherwise, yeah, you're still sitting near your 1080 and your 60 right at your highest point. Uh, still, you know, everything below there as well. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I think as far as your phones, you know, uh, again, easy use on your phone's great, but I'm an audio guy, man. And like to be able to plug the mic in directly into the camera and have that availability too. And also, or you just can do that with your phone too. We have just that piece if you want to. So I guess it's more kind of the idea that you have options and you have the ability to do what you want with it. If you want to use your phone as your main camera, use this as that static as I was talking about, you can do that too, right? Randall, thank you so much. I mean, Hollyland giving us more options as filmmakers, which we always love. And anyway, thank you so much. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Keep an eye out for it. We're going to drop a lot of stuff on it. The Venus line. Appreciate you. Very cool. All right, guys, that's it for us at the Hollyland booth here at NAB 2023. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Have a great day.